For less than $500, you too can receive this full solar panel kit. Panels, wires, charge controller, all of that. Hey YouTube, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, join the family. It might be a dysfunctional family, but it's a family. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this whole Renergy solar panel kit. A true unboxing. The last video I did with the solar panels that we have on top of the house right here, um, it's the exact same kit. We paid $674 to have it delivered to our house back in 2016. This one, 2023, same kit, same exact kit that runs our whole house. We picked it up for less than $500. And this package weighs 73 pounds. So if you factor in the shipping and handling cost, this thing is probably less than $400 if you would actually go to their store if they have one around. I'm not sure about Renergy. But they're great. They're all around great company. Make sure when you guys get this package, you take a look at the whole package because ours has a couple holes in it. I'm gonna show you when I open this up and show you exactly what we got. Um, but I wanna make sure there's no product defects. You don't have to send it back. So let's get started. I have not, again, I have not opened this thing up. But I know what I'm, ex what I'm expecting. A couple flaps. Voila. All right. What I see. Well, that doesn't look good. And this doesn't look good. Oh my gosh, this. And these, look, they're broke. And this. Not looking too good right now. This. UPS got a little crazy in their deliveries over the years. And what we have here, we have connectors, more connectors, more connectors. This is your temperature control sensor for your batteries. I'm going to sit that one down gentle. Some mounting hardware. I'm not sure what for. This never came in the package before. A little operations manual. Warranty card. This is the rover. Same rover that I have back in the house. I already mounted up. But it's the up to date version. This is the MPPT. When you get a charge controller, try to get the MPPT for these. These are monocrystalline panels. Excellent. Um, overcast skies. Everybody will say, oh, you don't produce any electricity. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. <clears throat> oh, when it's cold, it doesn't work. Hey, it works better. Because you got to remember, all of these panels are rated at 77 degrees. Anything that goes above 77, like right now, it's 82 outside, um, the panels produce less than 12 volts. Is they're rated at 77 degrees for 12 volts, 24, 48, whatever you want to get. But this is a 12 volt system. Uh, 77 degrees, 12 volts. Higher up, lower volts. Yikes. So people say, oh, in Arizona, it'd be so great to have solar panels. <laughs> yeah, if you want to have any energy, probably not. But I digress. Um, we also have cables. We also have more cables for batteries. Eight gauge wire there. Um, we have another one, another package. I'm assuming these are the mounting brackets. So this is a, the same box that came in before. So let's look this one up. Grab up a little knife. Got it from my buddy in Afghanistan. 
Mr. E8 top. <laughs> um, but yes, these, I'll zoom in for you guys. Whoop. These are all the mounting brackets and hardware, everything you'll need. Uh, kinda. Uh, how do I say that? Um, if you have like a metal roof like we do, you're gonna have to find some different ways to hook it up. But they do supply you with the mounting hardware. But you might have to think a little bit out of the box, mount them up the right way. Prime example. This exact same solar kit that we have here, that's on our house, went through a tornado in 2019, 20, December. And you guys probably saw it in my videos. Um, the whole town got taken out with power for over, over a week. Guess what? Our house is the only house that got moved back six feet and chimney went flying a quarter mile. <clears throat> Trees up there are all taken off on tops. I digress. But guess what? We were the only ones who still had power. That must have been one heck of a product and one hell of an electrician. And the money of the thing. This is something that is worth its value in gold. This little bad boy right here. The Renergy 40 amp MPPT charge controller takes many different types of batteries, um, lithium, gel, AGM, non-sealed, lead, lead uh, over acid, or acid over lead batteries, takes all of them. This is a great charger. I'm looking forward to hooking this up and seeing if they made any more um, different things for the colors and everything else. I complained about that in one of my videos about the last Renergy kit that I got. Um, want to take a look at that? Go take a look at it. But what I'm going to do with this, until it gets hooked up back in our power shack, I'm going to put this in a box, wrap it in aluminum foil, because you never know with this world. People are making awesome choices for us, which we don't have no say in. <coughs> Russia, Ukraine, <coughs> China. Um, but... If they get a wild hair up their butt, who says they're not going to throw an EMP towards us? And that happens. This might be fried. I'm not sure if it's EMP protection proof. Don't quote me on it. But since I do not know, and I doubt it is, I'm going to, before I mount this in my utility shop, I'm going to put it, again, put it in a box, wrap it in tin foil, make sure there's no leaks or seals, and set it and forget it. Because... Between now and then, if something happens, EMP goes off, I will still have my charge controller. It's another big box. <clears throat> All right, here are the panels. I usually take these out in the middle of the night um, because it's sunny out. I don't want to be like, here, let me show you. That would not be cool. But I do want to check them out. Voila. Nice and dusty. It's going to be good cleaning. No cracks, no tears, no nothing. This is a 100 watt monocrystalline panel. They're smaller. Before they were four cells deep. Now there are only three. Wow. Good job, Renergy. Here's another one. And I was worried about this one. <coughs> Raymond, my neighbor. He's like our Forrest Gump of the community. He drives around. He's a cool guy, but Forrest Gump. Not really, but you know what I'm talking about. I digress. Um, three panels. Or three cells deep. I don't know how many wide. Count them for yourself. I was worried about this because this side of the box has a bunch of holes in it. But as you can tell, it's still fine. I should probably turn these upside down. So in case the prongs 
they aren't producing any voltage. I don't want to get zapped. Remember, the voltage doesn't kill you, the amperage does. Remember that. Here's another panel. Oh, good to go. Just dusty, dusty, dusty. Sit that one right there. Take a couple pieces of this broken styrofoam off. And the last piece. Everything looks good. Good, good. No cracks, no breakage, no nothing. But here's the box. You can see, whoop, or whoop, whoop. Yeah, I'm very surprised there's no breakage. Long story short of the whole project, or long story short of the whole thing. They came, they're cheap, they're smaller. Hopefully that's more effective nowadays. That charge controller, 400 watt system, 40 amp charge controller, along with our 40 amp system in there, and our 400 watt panels up there, 800 watts, 80 amps. Our battery bank has to grow, I guess. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys tune back in. We have a lot of videos coming. I've been working on our um, ultimate off-grid power shack. That's the title it's going to be under. I'm taking you step by step through it. <coughs> I just got to work around this heat because my head doesn't do good. Um, but we have more videos coming on that. And uh, it's going to be a water filtration system, solar panel. I got a big old power inverter coming with lugs so you can hook it up to an actual panel. You know, click, 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 click. Your electricity go, or it blows a breaker. Click, click. That box, a service panel. The power inverter I'm getting is coming, I believe, in a couple days or whatever. I'll show it to you guys before when I get it and when I hook it up and all that crap. Um... <clears throat> But that one actually can, can, can be wired directly into your sub-panel. So if you're truly off-grid, or not sub-panel, just a service panel. But if you're truly off-grid, you'll be able to see how I do that. And I'm not saying nothing to you guys. I'm not preaching or nothing. Actually, I kind of am, because I really believe in solar panels. Um, but if you guys want to go totally off the grid... Not be connected to those stupid power lines up there. Because one thing you guys got to remember, you don't control the bill on that. No one does, except them. No money-hungry people. So the reason why we did this, lower the bills down to nothing, and then everybody can have more money. If they're going to bring up the inflation by pumping more dollars or bringing more dollars back home to roost, we need to combat that with lower bills. So we can still have money to do stuff and live nicely, comfortably. Because no one controls those bills. You don't. I don't. No one else does except those little greedy bastards up there. So, choices you got to make. I live in a small, tiny house. As you guys know, um, about 508 cubic or square foot. Um, but when the kids move out, hopefully they'll be moving out soon. When the kids move out and winter comes and heating costs and everything else, the wife and I, we really don't need that much. Um, we need more storage than we do house. And there's no reason to be heating this house, a huge house. I have a McMansion. Oh yeah, good for you. You have bills. Um, no power bills, heating bills. All we have to do is do some actual manual labor cut some wood, split some wood, bring it in the house. We have water provided to us by God 
because anybody says you can't catch rainwater, bite me. Um, like some states, Colorado, all these other places, we're in drought, whatever. Um, but since we get water from the sky, we can filter it all out from the pathogens and bird poop and all that stuff. So I'm setting up an RO system. Uh, when I used to run an ethanol plant, we had an RO system that would make our water purified. Um, so the little yeast and little, all, the, all the little drugs that they do, and they can have all the sex and piss and poop, and we can distill it, and we'll have all the alcohol we want for free. Um, and we'll have all the alcohol from them being happy because they don't have infected water. Because infection in alcohol, you get vinegar. Rotten vinegar. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you guys have a great day. Take care of each other. The world's getting a little crazy. I'm making a video, Raymond. I'm making a video. You want to be in my video? Okay. Well, I'm making it. I'm recording right now. <laughs> so...